thank you guys for tuning in and welcome back this is my c30 you might have seen it in a few videos if you're used to coming to my channel but i had an issue in it the other day and i got stranded and i'm sure if you're watching this video you probably had about the same issue and it's a pain in the ass so anyhow put the key in let's put this key in put the key in go turn the vehicle on we got power Nothing happens. What the hell? Now this is a standard shift. Used to be automatic. So I figured the neutral safety switch is bad. It's the first thing you want to check. Well, I crawled underneath of it. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Hey, man, I'm staying plugged into the neutral safety switch. Not my problem. You know, obviously it is my problem now. Uh, got to figure that out. But however they had this wigged up, when I went to crank it, when I got stranded, what happened was, I turned the key switch on, cranked that smoke came out everywhere, it didn't crank, I unhooked the battery in a panic and checked out a while and couldn't find anything, it didn't smoke no more, so what I did was just turn my key on to the on position, I found the solenoid wire out under the hood, touched me a hot water, to the solenoid wire to the starter and it started up and I drove it home. Yeah. yeah that, that ain't fixing the problem. That's just a temporary band-aid. So let's get started because I'm sure you're doing the same damn shit. So hopefully you figure out what's the matter with yours by watching me try to figure out what's the matter with mine. First thing you want to do is take out all these four ways. You got two here and two on this side and one down here and one here so go ahead and remove those once you get your bolts out it should look like this i don't know, my little switch box is attached to this for my lights so i just laid it out of the way so with that tuck off guys you can basically get to your steering comp now there are some bolts straight up I don't know if you can see them at this angle. I do got a tilt call. I'm going to tilt that up so I can get under here. And right there they are. See those little uh, bolts? I think they're 5 8 They might be a 9 16 It's one of two of them. You got one on each side. Should be one. No, no. You need to just go ahead and loosen those. When you loosen these, it's still calm. Oh. When you loosen those, it's still calm. A drop down, you can get access to up in here. And you shouldn't have to remove none of that. So, let's go ahead and loosen those. Once you get those loose, pretty much, guys, you got some more down here that you need to take loose. And that helps you a little bit on your movement. Just like a plate. Just a little. You don't have to, but I recommend it. Now, as you can see, this is pretty much what you get. We can actually get it go down a little bit further. We had to. We could undo under the hood, do the shaft, and actually pull this whole steel cone out if it came down to it. But let's see if we can move some wires around and get this bad boy to... Uh, Crank over or something. Take it out of gear. For safety, you know. Okay, here we go. Nothing at all. Don't see no smoke or sparks, so that's a good thing. So let's get under here a little bit. So what I think is went bad is this guy. Now to change this, you got two 5 16 bolts on the side right here, two little bitty tiny bolts. And uh, you loosen them up, then you come in here and you pick straight up on that and it will come off of this wad here that your key switch works. You can see I got mine loose and it moves the whole thing. So yeah, just do that and then you can pick it up Move it out of the way enough where you can unplug it. 
So guys, this is pretty much, you know, the gist of it. As you can see, nothing happens up here even though we work the key. That because that little rod has got a notch that this sets in. Right there. And that notch works the uh, uh, stone cone. If I had a one-way screwdriver, here we go. I'll show you. I'm mashing this forward. Right just in here. Set the phone somewhere you guys can watch it. We should be able to uh, turn it on. As you can see, truck came on. We mash it in the crank position. Nothing happens. Huh. Wonder why. This is which the smoking stuff I seen. I'm about positive come from this right here. I don't see none of my wires burn into or anything, so this had to burn out on the inside. So yeah, I'm gonna unplug it and check it out. Now so I bent the tabs, they one on this side and two on this side. You can bend them and this plate will come off this. Well, it should. That's what I was thinking anyway. Should just lift off. And inside you can check out and see what's going on. Oh yeah, this is what's bad. You can see what's been getting hot. Right here. It's pretty simple as all switch is. But I'm pretty sure right here's a problem. You guys can see the bunk contact and where it's been smoking. Yeah, I'm about 100% positive this is a problem with the truck not cranking. Now, we make two different types of these. Um, they weren't on the bottom of my stone comb. That's a neutral safety. I don't know why that ain't hooked up on this truck. And I think this is a two different ones of these. I think one is for a standard shift, non-tilt comb. And this has got the tilt comb in it from an automatic. So, should be a part number. Like the, I should be able to call and get this guy. Shouldn't be too much. Might buy two of them just in case this ever happens again. But... This truck is old, and I'm pretty sure this is the factory one, so it's been a good one. But, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this video. This investigation video on why your truck ain't cranking. If you did, drop me a like. Leave me a comment if you did find it helpful. Be sure to show your support by hitting that subscribe button for my channel. I appreciate it. If you do, and uh, I have a video coming soon on installing this. Yeah, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching.